Now you are going to learn parallel combination of resistance. For parallel combination, we have taken three resistance. This is one, this is two, and this is three resistance. Connect these three resistance parallelly across a potential. This is the applied potential. Then V is the applied potential. Since the three resistance R1, R2, R3 are connected parallel. So potential along R1, R2 and R3 are same which is V. V is the potential along R1, R2 and R3. Now current from this potential is I. When this current reaches this junction, this will be divided into three parts. Let this is I1, this is I2, this is I3. This current will move to this junction. So I2 come here, I1 and I3 will be here. They three are again connected and current is I. What we have seen, we have seen in parallel combination, the current will be subdivided and the potential will be same. Let this is the equivalent circuit of resistance. Let this be V is the potential, I is the current and RP is the parallel combination. And as we have seen that the current, current I is equals to I1 plus I2 plus I3 divided. We know that Ohm's law V is equals to IR. So you have I equals to V upon R. Use this information at this place. So at this place, I equals to V upon RP, RP, from this equivalent circuit. What is I1? I1 is V upon R1. This is V upon R2. V upon R3. Cancel the V. You have 1 by RP is equals to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Thus, what you have seen, you have seen in series combination, the resistance combined simply in algebraical addition. But in parallel combination, the resistance combined in their reciprocal addition. So 1 by Rp equals to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Now again let a question. The question is, suppose you have n number of resistance in parallel. This is resistance 1, resistance 2, dot, 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 resistance n. This is in parallel. Then across a potential V. Then what will be the equivalent resistance? For that we have 1 by Rp is equals to 1 by R, 1 by R plus dot, 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 n times, n times 1 by R. So this is equals to n upon R. So 1 by Rp. So Rp is equals to R upon N. Thus we have seen that in parallel combination resistance decreases. And in the previous lecture you have seen that in series combination resistance increases. Thank you.